I have been using the Rode Wireless Go First Edition for years and I think it's one of the most well-rounded tools in my camera setup. But this Synco G3 lav mic set is very promising and has a few tricks up its sleeve. Will this replace my Rode Wireless Go? This is not going to be a technical review. I believe there are other reviewers that are much better in this regard. Furthermore, sound quality is highly subjective in my humble opinion. Obviously, I will give you my insights and final verdict, but I would highly recommend to listen to the comparison recordings in the middle of this video with good headphones and speakers. Also, maybe you already noticed, I will switch in between the Rode and the Synco within this video to give you a proper sound example in addition to that sound comparison that I mentioned before. So what you hear is the Synco G3 lav mic set. And this is a set because you have one receiver and two transmitters. The receiver has a huge display which makes adjusting settings and checking levels very easy. The receiver can be connected to your camera via a 3.5mm TRS cable, but you can also switch to a TRRS cable via the settings to connect the receiver to a phone. But not all phones have a headphone jack unfortunately anymore. Therefore you can also use a USB-C cable to connect it to your phone or computer. Inside the receiver you have the options to adjust the gain but also to activate EQ or filters. However, I prefer not to use any filters or EQs internally. I rather have as much flexibility as possible in post-processing on my editing station. And I would recommend to keep those settings off and edit everything of the recording on your computer. The transmitters charge once connected to the receiver and automatically establish a wireless connection to the receiver when you detach them. This worked great 9 out of 10 times. Once, the connection on both transmitters didn't work for no particular reason at all. But all you need to do is to reset the transmitter, switch them off by long pressing for about 3 seconds. And afterwards, long press again the on and off switch for about 8 seconds until the light starts flashing blue and green. Then you can manually pair the transmitter with the receiver in the settings. I honestly have no idea why this happened. This isn't a big deal, but definitely something to keep in mind if you are on a job. Speaking of jobs, one unique selling point of the G3 is its two-way communication. On the receiver itself you have a mic as well. So imagine doing an interview with two people in front of the camera that potentially is further away from those two persons because you are using a long lens. On the two transmitters are headphone jacks to which you can connect earplugs. Now the director behind the camera can talk into the receiver's mic and therefore talk to the people without having to scream all over the set. Honestly, while this is a great feature, I personally would never use this. That being said, the third mic on the receiver is still great, because you can easily record whatever the person behind the camera is saying. Whenever I do interviews with one person, I always talk to the person in front of the camera and now the third mic picks up everything that I am saying as well. You just need to keep in mind that the wired connection to your camera, i.e. the 3mm jack cable, only has two tracks left and right. So if you have two people in front of the camera and you want to use the third mic on the receiver, you need to decide which mic you want to put onto which track. If you only use the two transmitters, you can just put transmitter 1 onto the left track and transmitter 2 onto the right track. If you want to record the mic on the receiver, you might need to put two of those three mic streams onto one of the camera tracks. However, the G3 has another trick up its sleeve. Both transmitters have a 22 hour internal recording. So even if the recorder is off or both recording tracks are occupied on your camera, one or both transmitters can record internally. And here is something that I yeah, kind of dislike. Comparing the internal recording to the recording of the wireless connection to the receiver and then into the camera, I did notice a quality difference between those two recordings. While the internal recording needed some more gain adjustments, it did sound better than the wireless connection to the receiver. I asked Synco directly about this because I also noticed this in other YouTubers' reviews. Their explanation is that the wireless connection between the transmitter and the receiver is encrypted and then decrypted. The internal recordings of the transmitters 
don't need this. But according to Cinco, the audio quality of the G G G3 is just as good as their previous models when it comes down to their wireless connection. But, and I quote, the internal recording is even better on top of that. I haven't tested the G1 or G2 models, but their explanation sounded reasonable to me. That being said, listening to the audio comparisons to the Rode Wireless Go, I do prefer the warmer and fuller sound of the Rode. But as mentioned in the beginning, sound is very subjective and your opinion might be different once you hear the audio comparison. Furthermore, remember the ability to attach a headphone? The small size of these transmitters is great, but this apparently also means that you can't have a mic and headphone jack at the same time. <laughs> I'm not an engineer, but I wish that the 3.5mm jack would also be a mic jack as well. Because your audio quality would highly improve if you could use a lav mic on the transmitter. Yes, just like on the road, you are supposed to just clip the transmitter to your shirt. But there are a lot of situations in which you just don't want to see this little box on your talent. So being able to put a lav mic on the transmitter is a must for me personally. Before we go to my verdict, here are sound comparisons of the Rode, then the G3 wireless connection with the receiver connected to my camera, and then an internal recording. Furthermore, you can hear them without any effects, and then afterwards with some EQs, etc. adjusted. Okay, this is the first test with the Rode Wireless Go attached close to my neck, with the gain set to the middle of the receiver. And I'm going to read from Harry Potter, the Chamber of Secrets from the inlay. Harry can't wait for his holidays with the dire Dursleys to end, but a small self-punishing house elf warns Harry of mortal danger awaiting him at Hogwarts school. Returning to the castle nevertheless, Harry hears a rumor about a Chamber of Secrets, holding unknown horrors for wizards of muggle parentage. Now someone is casting spells that paralyzes people, making them seem dead, and terrible warning is found painted on the wall. The chief suspect, and always in the wrong place, is Harry, but something much darker has yet to be unleashed. And now this is the test with the Cinco G3, with the gain set to maximum and the transmitter on my neck. And again, I'm reading from Harry Potter, The Chambers of Secrets. Harry can't wait for his holidays with the dire Dursleys to end, but a small self-punishing house elf warns Harry of mortal danger awaiting him at Hogwarts school. Returning to the castle nevertheless, Harry hears a rumor about a chamber of secrets, holding unknown horror for wizards of muggle parentage. Now someone is casting spells that paralyzes people, making them seem dead, and a terrible warning is found painted on the wall. The chief suspect, and always in the wrong place, is Harry. But something much darker has yet to be unleashed. Now I'm using the Cinco G... Wow, that's so difficult. Cinco G3 internal recording. So there's no connection to the receiver or the camera, but everything is recorded on the receiver itself. And I'm, again, I'm reading from Harry Potter Chamber of Secrets. Harry can't wait for his holidays with the dire Dursleys to end. But a small, self-punishing house elf warns Harry of mortal danger awaiting him at Hogwarts school. Returning to the castle nevertheless, Harry hears a rumor about the Chamber of Secrets, holding unknown horrors for wizards of muggle parentage. Now someone is casting spells that paralyzes people, making them seem dead, and a terrible warning is found painted on the wall. The chief suspect, and always in the wrong place, is Harry but something much darker has yet to be unleashed. Harry can't wait for his holidays with the dire Dursleys to end, but a small self-punishing house elf warns Harry of mortal danger awaiting him at Hogwarts school. Returning to the castle nevertheless, Harry hears a rumor about the Chamber of Secrets, holding unknown horrors for wizards of muggle parentage. Now someone is casting spells that paralyzes people, making them seem dead, and a terrible warning is found painted on the wall. The chief suspect, and always in the wrong place, is Harry. But something much darker has yet to be unleashed. I just want to repeat myself. Audio is very subjective. So you probably already know which one you like better. 
For me, the warmer sound of the Rode is much more preferable. Moreover, the ability to attach a lav mic is really important to me. That being said, I really like all of the features and the design of the G3. Yes, it's only made out of plastic, but my camera is already big and heavy, so I prefer it being lightweight. The mushy feeling of the buttons could be improved, and I'd rather have a mic in opposed to the headphone jack on the transmitters. While the audio quality of the Synco G3 is really good, I do prefer the sound quality of my Rode Wireless Go. In addition to that, the lack of a mic jack will also make me grab the Rode Wireless Go over the G3 in a professional work environment, unless I have the need for three mics in one interview. However, there's one setting I can see myself using this Synco G3 a lot in the future. Okay, now I am in my kitchen to kind of simulate a vlog with my phone, which is the Samsung S21 Plus. And what you hear right now is the internal microphone. And the phone is about, I would say, 160 centimeters away from me in this kitchen, which has some reverb. And now you hear the Synco G3 mic, which has an internal recording without the need of the receiver being on or with me for that matter. You basically just press the record button for a few seconds and it then starts internal recording. And as you can tell right away, the sound is much better than with the internal mic of my phone. So with that in mind, if I ever just want to carry around the essentials, so my phone, maybe a tripod, and just the transmitter of the Synco G3, then I can basically record good sounding vlogs with this little laugh mic that, yeah, it's really tiny. And just for comparison, now you hear the internal mics of the Samsung S21 Plus. And now again, you hear the sound of the Synco G3 transmitter mic with the internal recording and no receiver connected to my phone. This is a very cool small little setup that I can see myself using a lot for vlogs. Now that you have listened to the comparisons, which mic do you like better? And what are your thoughts about the G3? And which mic do you use on your camera? Let me know in the comment section below. And like always, if you have any more questions, also comment below. And if you enjoyed this video, click the like button. And please feel free to subscribe to my channel and click that little bell icon so you won't miss the next videos. Also check out my Instagram and my second channel, at you know the Stay safe and healthy everyone, and I'll see you in the next videos. Thank you very much.